Australia is ranked number 50 in the world in terms of internet connection speed. We're 50th, which is terrible. Maybe this might change a few things. Let's get into it. Welcome to the channel folks, my name's Shane. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell. Now where I live in Melbourne, Australia, it's a huge city, six million people or something like that. My only option for internet at my particular place, and it's a metropolitan area, was ADSL2+. So I've been with Internode now for close to 10 years, and it's been a reliable service, but it's really slow. Trying to upload videos to YouTube kills me. It takes two to five hours to six hours, maybe more depending on the length of the video. A regular 10 minute video might take me three hours to upload on ADSL2+. Now I have an Annex M connection, so it's slightly fast to upload. I get all of about 1.3 to 1.4 megabit upload and somewhere between 15 and 17 meg download until now. I ended up with one of these. One thing I've noticed for years in Australia is my actual mobile phone data speeds well exceed the speeds of my actual physical connection at home. And that's what this is. This runs off the 4G towers, and this was actually supplied by Optus. I don't work for Optus or any internet company or anything like that, but this is an absolute game changer for me. I'm gonna show you some of the upload and download speeds, and then we'll get into a little bit about what it does. Here we go, here's the regular ADSL connection. So I'm with IINet, which is Internode, and we're gonna test it against their Internode server. Now I should also point out, I'm back on regular ADSL 2 plus in terms of its profile just being the regular high speed profile and not the Annex M. So I'm getting 17 download on average or something like that. That actually looks pretty good. Now in terms of the upload speed, if you live overseas, this will make you cringe. <laughs> Come on, get to one. You can do it. So on Annex M, I, it gets to about 1.3, but now that I don't actually need to be using this connection for uploading, uh, I, I'm getting faster downloads and I put that in quotations of 17 and the upload is 1.07 so absolutely terrible. All right now over to my new Optus connection let's give this a shot. I expect both of these to pretty much blitz just what we saw before. So we have it peaked around 70 but it looks like as of right now at 12 10 p.m. Oh no, it's back up. So we're, oh, look at this, 80, 81, 82. It is absolutely flying, but there is that fluctuation of about 20 megabit. So just keep that in mind. My upload speed can vary anywhere between about 10 and about 28 megabit. But for me, uploading from home, even if I could get five, I was pretty happy. Having it always above 10 at any time of the day is great. So as of right now, we're getting 11.7. That seems pretty good way faster than 1.1 so uploading is just so much quicker we might try this one more time and just see how much it fluctuates on this second shot just to show you that it can fluctuate depending on the time of day so uh, it already looks kind of like it's maybe going faster now 81 83 i just saw that's pretty awesome 86 87 so this is so much faster it's just insane i love this but you do get that fluctuation. So just keep that in mind. But if you're gonna be uploading and doing YouTube stuff, you'll just get so much more value out of this connection than your regular connection. At the extent of maybe slight reliability issues in terms of speed. But you know, that's a solid 13 right now. Now, if I keep testing this, and if I try it at a different time of the day, I've seen it go well, or just under, I should say, under 30 megabits. So that's fantastic. Here's the Huawei modem that Optus supplied. It's nice and simple to use. We have some LEDs on the front to show you what is actually on, power on and off. This is whether or not your actual 4G connection is actually connected here. We have the icon for the local wireless network here. And if we have computers connected via the LAN on the back or the ports here, we have four gigabit ethernet ports. We also have a telephone port here, which we don't need because the SIM card goes in the bottom and then we're good to go. So nice and simple, power on and off here. And that is it, couldn't be simpler. I did find this by accident. A good friend of mine mentioned it and I said, I haven't even looked into this type of thing. And usually in Australia, you get stooged one of two ways. You either get really slow internet or you get something that you have to pay through the roof for and you get no data. 
This seemed like a happy medium for about 60 bucks a month. I get 200 gig and that should be enough to do my live streams and also upload the majority of my videos to the channels that I run as well. So for me, having this as a dedicated YouTube line is gonna be awesome. Now I have done some live streaming as well, both with my GH5 and just some game footage stuff as well. And I have to point out that it wasn't 100% perfect 100% of the time. It worked maybe eight out of 10 times perfectly. A couple of times I did notice that my stream health dropped slightly, but I was still uploading at over three to five megabit per second, which is way better than my 1.3. So the live stream footage looks almost as good as my camera recorded footage. Not quite, of course, I'm only streaming in 1080p, but if you look at it on your phone, you almost wouldn't notice a difference. And a lot of people, as soon as I went live on my main channel at In The Blues, went, wow, this looks awesome. Like, what are you streaming with? I'm like, I'm using my GH5 with faster internet. Australia really needs to catch up with the rest of the world in terms of its internet speeds. And this is a step in the right direction. While it might not have the reliability of some ways in terms of having a hardwired connection, it's so much faster and I can finally do what I do and had just have it done fast. And that's the thing for me. Time is one of the most important things for me. If I can upload a video and it only takes me five to 10 minutes on this, as opposed to two or three hours with my old internet connection, I'm gonna opt to get this. It's also great having some redundancy. If you're looking for say, a secondary so internet source at home or at your office where, you know, if, if your main internet drops and you've got no backup, some businesses could be crippled by that. And for what I do, uploading videos across numerous channels, having a secondary internet line or a dedicated YouTube line now, or virtual line or wireless line, is definitely a good thing. So you're gonna see much better quality streaming coming out of Australia, <laughs> finally. Some people are lucky, they do have good internet connections where they live, but I'm not one of those guys. And from what I can tell about the NBN, it's gonna take forever to get to my place and it's not always reliable either. So it's one of those things where I thought I'd give this a shot. I didn't sign any contracts because if it sucked, I could get rid of it, I'm keeping it. For the small and very few and far between dropouts I get at my place, it's just, it's a lifesaver. So for me, it's great to have some internet speed and you saw it for yourself. So let me know what you think. If you live in Australia and you're a YouTuber and you're watching this, this thing, I can't recommend enough. Uh, what can I tell you? It, it's the productivity is awesome and I'm not crippling my other internet line. So I can still use my internet as I would normally at the house, but just upload via this. This is awesome. Thanks for watching guys, my name's Shane. If you do have any comments or questions, leave them below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and click that little bell. Let me know what you think of this. If you've already moved over to this wireless home broadband, let me know what you think of it as well. In terms of this physical device as well, it's great. It's got the gigabit ports and all that kind of stuff and it's also got the, the five gigahertz, if you choose to use it, or 2.4 gigahertz wireless option as well. So just local home network stuff is very, very fast. Thanks again for watching and I'll catch you soon. See ya.